Hello, this is a video requested by Andres77 who wants to know if the dynamic pads on the Phantom X can be used in a similar way to a TR-808. It's not something that I personally think that it's sort of been designed to do, but it's got a powerful sequencer with a loop feature, so why not? All I've done so far is I've put house kit on channel 10, which is controlled by the pads. and I have a synth bass on channel 1. So, if we hit song edit and set our loop length, which I want to be 4 bars, just hit record, hit play, and when you get to the 4th bar, press stop. There we are. Now the reason those bars are greyed out is because that's our song length in effect, and those bars are active as opposed to not in use. So if we skip back to the start and press record again, this is where we'll uh, set the loop feature. So we want to start with the percussion, so we'll go to track 10. We want it to mix, so as it loops we're going to add more percussion and uh, note data into the loop. One bar count is fine, and put the loop point to the very start and the very end of our sort of greyed out active bars. So hit play and I'll start recording the kit. There we are, it's now looping. Now I shall use the roll feature to add some hi hat when we get back to bar one. Ah, that's now looping. So, skip back to the start again. Now, to change instruments, this is where it gets a bit fiddly. You want to press the pad setting button, and at the top left, where it says pad part, you want to change that to the next instrument you want to use. So, it's the synth bass for me on channel one, and the pads are on the same notes as they were for the kit and that's not really what we want because so, they're a bit all over the place if I play them now the notes are just all over the place which isn't really ideal so there's two ways to set it up to a sort of playable instrument way you can press F7 quick setup and set it to note as opposed to rhythm and your bass note I'll just leave as C hit select and now it's chromatic from uh, from C2 or, because you've got 16 pads, you could have two octaves in the key that you are writing in. So to do that, hit pad 1, and then scroll down and move the note there. So say you want to do something in G, and then you'd hit pad 2, and move that down to A, and so on until you've set up all the pads to the notes you want. So I'll just use quick setup again. There we are. So, now you've got that sorted, go back to song edit, skip back to the start, press record, now I want track 1, still want it to mix, still want it to loop, so we're happy with those settings, hit play. There we are, we now have a bass line. So you might want to add more instruments, so you'd go to Mixer, choose your instruments with the uh, patch list, and gradually add more parts, bit by bit, into your loop. I hope this has been of some help to you, Andres77. Uh, if anyone has any questions about this video, I'll try my best to answer them, or if anyone has any requests for other Phantom X or Korg M3 questions, then let me know and I'll try and make a video on them. Cheers.